you go to the sea where it's beautiful and you, you want a part of it, and I guess you want to let somebody else know about it. And I think I must have felt the same way with Eleanor. How's it, how's it? Could you photograph the same subject, the same face that you see every day for 15 years straight? Harry Callahan can, and he did. He photographed his muse, his wife, Eleanor, for a 15 year period, and in doing so, created one of the most memorable photo series of all time. Harry Callahan was an American photographer celebrated for his mastery of capturing interesting and amazing photographs of seemingly everyday objects. He experimented with various photographic techniques and themes, but there is one project that has cemented his legacy as one of the greatest photographers of the 20th century. It's that project that is the key to understanding how to remain fresh and vibrant as a photographer. And I would say, I guess I had to do it more than anything else. And I think I produced a, a tremendous amount of photographs in the time, you know, that I worked at them, just because I was driven so hard to do it. I don't take any credit because I liked it. The desire to see the world in a distinct way through the lens of a camera is, of course, common motivation for many photographers, including Harry Callahan. And yet, conforming to conventional rules and expectations of what should be photographed can often curtail creativity and photographic exploration. You end up stuck in a world where the gatekeepers are standing tall, those people who decide what is a you know, worthy subject for a photograph, and, and it can really, you know, it can drag you down. But every now and again, someone comes along who helps a photographer radically expand their horizons. And for Harry Callahan, that photographer was Ansel Adams, with whom he was lucky enough to spend a weekend. I don't think it was the, the, it were the great pictures or the ones that are considered great of his that really uh, uh, made me excited. It was the uh, uh, close-up pictures near the ground, which I felt that from then on I could photograph anything. I didn't have to go to, uh, well, Yellowstone or uh, a Grand Canyon. I could photograph... Uh, uh, footprint in the sand and it would be like a sand dune and I think this was probably the most freeing thing that could have ever been for me. And of course free he was. Harry started photographing everything and anything in many different ways. He was constantly experimenting with ideas and different techniques. Everything seemed to hold some aspect of fascination. The world was a treasure chest of shape and form, light and shadow, just waiting to be photographed. But none of these hold a place in photography, like his most famous subject. I was a Methodist, you know, brought up uh, to believe that <laughs> you, you didn't expose yourself like that. And then when I saw how he shot the pictures, that completely freed me because there wasn't anything obscene about them or uh, pornographic-like. In fact, I think they're quite beautiful. This was to be the project that most people who are familiar with Harry Callahan in some form have seen. 15 years of photographing the same person. An object lesson in how to remain creative in photography using a, a unique approach, which ensured that Harry never ran out of ideas on how to photograph Eleanor in fresh and unique ways. The photos of Eleanor range from simple portraits to abstract images and everything in between. We're often taking pictures of, of Eleanor in, 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 in private, unguarded moments. In, in, in fact, Eleanor herself recounts a story where she was busy making dinner, you know, pots are on the stove and all that sort of stuff, and, and Harry comes in and goes, look, the light, the light is perfect, we need to photograph now. So of course she had to put 
everything to one side. This is the days before microwaves and all those kind of things. And, and, and to commit to the process. I love this idea of two people fully engaged in creating photographs. There is an idea that has been suggested by a variety of photographers in, in, in many ways over the years that when you photograph something, especially people, that you should fall in love with them a little bit. So there's a bit of that fascination. You can't take your eyes off somebody. These days, long-term photography projects are, are reasonably commonplace, but they always seem to focus on the passing of time rather than the fascination that continues with the person. So if you look at those commonplace ones, it might be the same picture on, on every day for over a number of years. But with Harry's photographs, they are an exploration of Eleanor. They're not just simple snapshots. I, I get tired of photographing in one way for a long time. And I think this is fundamental in all of my photography that I photographed, uh, let's say, the landscape when I first started. And then uh, I got tired of photographing the landscape, and, but I didn't want to stop photographing. I didn't want to wait until the, you know, it was winter or summer or something like that. So I started photographing in the city. And then when I got tired of that, then I'd go back to the landscape or I'd go photograph my wife. The system, I want to call it system, if you want to call it that, that Harry employed is so deceptively simple, that it seems crazy, right? That he would take the things he's photographing out there in the world, the, what he's finding fascinating by moving on to something new and apply those concepts to the images that he's taking of Eleanor. That's it's genius. Look at these photographs. Here's a picture of, you know, the, some sort of wispy piece of grass. And then there's, here's Eleanor. There are these very strong pictures of buildings. And then here's Eleanor. Not one of these photographs of Eleanor feels like they're just a quick snapshot just to, to make a little checkbox in the progression of the process. Each one is playing with an idea and an approach. It's creating something new and often unexpected from the familiar sight of his wife each time he presses the shutter. We can do this in our own photography, that we take one idea and it informs into another when we place it in a different context. It, it enables us to start seeing images all around us and combine them in new and different ways. For 15 years or so, the images Harry and Eleanor created together put paid to the argument that so many photographers often lean upon that, oh, there's nothing to photograph, that, oh, you know, I need to go somewhere fancy to take pictures. Nothing could be further from the truth. All you need is an open mind and a willingness to experiment. In addition to the photographs of Eleanor, which eventually had to come to an end because she went back to full-time work and they just didn't have the time anymore. Harry Callahan was also a, a, a long-time photography teacher, helping generations of photographers find their visual voices and often would keep his own creativity going by embarking also on the assignments that he was giving the students. Now to see how you can take some of those ideas to continuously find new things to photograph, check out this video over here. Thank you ever so much for watching and I will see you again soon.